A new day, a new project. Let's have some recording tests. I have a couple of these USB sound cards and I want to have a compare recording my Lavalier microphone with my Sony PCMD50. The internal microphones from my Acer Aspire. And this is a real tech uh, sound card, by the way. And then we're gonna use this one. Uh, it's an USB Rebel 3D sound from Rebel Company. USB sound card and the model it's KOM0638 and the other one it's a Logilink and the model it's UA0078 both of them have a microphone in and uh, headphones out and then for checking the noise floor I'm gonna have a, a dummy plug instead of the microphones so then we can have a compare in between the cards about the residual noise or the noise floor how I'll call it and I'm gonna start doing that with my Sony exactly with the same volume like I'm recording now so I'm taking out the Lavalier microphone okay so let's connect the dummy plug somehow the the in it's in the air so we have a statistic now and this is minus 68 decibel that's professional for all the microphones we are on 75 let's go to 90. so this is a recording with the acer aspire 515 internal microphones a stereo recording now let me have the dummy inserted and to check the noise floor minus 50 or something and now I can try a recording with my lavalier microphones inserted in Yes, these are my Lavalier microphones with close-up voice. It's much better to have this kind of recording, you know, close to the mouth because you don't get the room noise and all the reverb and all the uh, hall and all the stuffs. The single problem over here is these two microphones I have, they are not identical. So you can see there is a difference in uh, level left, right or something, but that can be fix it from the software okay so that's the test with the internal microphones and the lavalier microphones connected to the real tech sound card we can have a very clear statistics from uh, tools and statistics there we are so we are looking for minimum sample value and that's around 50 minus 50 decibel you know that's pretty good for a laptop internal sound card now let's change let's change to the rebel usb sound card microphones so let's go recording okay the point is that now we're gonna have a mono recording because this kind of usb sound cards they don't have stereo microphone in I'm taking out the microphones and the in it's in the air nothing connected yet listen the noise it's a huge noise floor minus 35 db as you can see in the full meters let's have the dummy connected same story and a very high noise floor okay so let's see the statistics now so we have like uh, in the air let's call it in the air minus 35 it's huge we have the dummy load connected the other side right we have we have the same so this is the residual i may say noise floor it's a huge noise floor you can't use it for proper recording but if you have a 
nice uh, noise plugin you can use it but i don't recommend it anyway let's save the file and let's go to the next test the next is the logic link the level it's 90 like all of them before there we are so we start recording with logi link with the lavalier microphone in mono it's see you see it's mono that's not bad for speech and uh, commands and stuff like this okay microphones out but the input it's in the air so we don't have a dummy plugged in let's listen to the noise the dummy in same story from 60 to 48 something back to lavalier microphones and that's the end of the test with logilink let's see the statistics now about the noise floor so we have without anything plugged a minimum sample value of 48 8 minus 48 that's not bad and here with the dummy in we have the same minus 48 okay so it's pretty good it's much better than uh, the other USB card so you can use this for a proper recording vocal recording these tests are very useful now I have a very clear idea an image about uh, the the audio possibilities of my sound cards and my sound gears around of course i'm not talking about any professional sound card it's just a simple uh, usb sound card and of course i don't want to talk about the sony pcm which is a professional tool so of course sony pcm with the dummy plug-in i mean let's call it in the air it was minus 68 db and uh, then the internal real tech was minus 50 db rebel usb sound card with a dummy or simply in the air with nothing connected minus 35 db so this is really noisy i don't really recommend it and finally logilink a pretty decent job minus 48 db almost almost close to the internal uh, realtek sound card so now i know for sure what i can do to have a proper sound to my videos sometimes you don't need really expensive uh, gears to have a good quality sound and i can use this 10 euros or something logilink usb uh, adapter or sound card to have my recordings done and uh, do it yourself electric microphones i think it sounds pretty good that's why there is no music and there is no other kind of effects noise limiters or anything else this is pure sound without any kind of electronic uh, enhancement i wish to hear your opinion if this kind of tests can help evaluate your gears and of course subscribe push like and rule number one don't forget to have fun until the next one please be safe take care and bye bye